hi everybody. I feel after all of this I am going to be the light relief because uh, all pretty serious stuff. Um, so what I'm talking about today is what's in transgender pornography and that's because as we've already discussed transgender activists uh, assert that their identities represent some kind of timeless essential essence that makes them a special kind of person deserving of particular rights and privileges and the men who dominate the political movement of transgenderism, they don't like any attention to their sexual proclivities. They consider this unacceptable because, of course, it really undermines their arguments. And the fact that they start off, uh, in general, as fetishists and cross-dressers, who experience masochistic sexual excitement from wearing women's clothing, is usually denied and it's not generally understood. I mean, I'm grateful for all of the images that Jackie put up because I think they've got you sort of well understanding all of this before anything that I can say, which is really good. Now, I've, I've called this talk the bimbification of women because this, uh, the bimbification uh, relates to the degradation and the humiliation of actually both men and women by the reduction of their status. In fact, the Urban Dictionary says it's the process of transforming into an air-headed slut, perfectly happy to be used and degraded. So bimbification pornography is, uh, has got men and women in it. Sissification pornography, and Jackie was talking a lot about sissification, is usually just about men becoming women, and so on. There's also strumpetization, and so on, and so on. So there's all kinds of words which mean women and the degradation of women which have got occasions and so on put on the end for this kind of pornography. Now in bimbification pornography it's about status reduction. So um, I will show you another. Uh, this is a woman and so this is pornography actually about a woman and this is part of a series called Bimbo Cascade from boardroom to bimbo. So this is absolutely ordinary part of bimbification. It's about reducing the status of women for men's sexual excitement. So whatever they were doing, extraordinary math student, engineer, member of parliament, in the pornography they are reduced to airheaded sluts for sexual use. So that's, that's very exciting to these men. Now, um, the image of womanhood that's portrayed in the pornography is deeply insulting to women. So if you want to know what is it that feeds these men's idea of women, what is the idea of woman they have in their heads when they say they are women, the pornography is really, really helpful because it gives some good psychological insights into what's going on. Now, the transgender porn industry generally is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. It is reckoned um, in uh, audiovisual news, there's an American magazine and articles in there, they're saying it's now 10% of ordinary video pornography. It's hugely written in the last few years and is now a very, very profitable part of the porn industry. And they say, why is this happening? Well, the men running the industry say it because transgenderism is more and more acceptable culturally and therefore more and more men are buying the pornography and so they're creating more and more pornography. Every year now there's a Transgender Erotica Awards. Um, you can see the ceremonies online and see who the men are controlling the industry and who those are who are being used in it. So in transgender video porn, um, the, I'll just say a word about the um, the videos themselves in which the direct action takes place, because I don't actually want to show you photographs of that, I'm just going to show you photographs of the, the literature, but I think that's just as interesting and tells you just as much. But in regular transgender video pornography, the action is about men who have either just penises or penises and breasts, sexually using women or being used by real men, or women who have transgendered, who are called in this genre trans men, like Buck Angel. And Buck Angel, who is supposed to be a trans man, says that indeed the consumers of his pornography are ordinary heterosexual men. I think one of the things um, that's interesting about um, looking at this pornography and understanding the size of the industry is to recognise how many perfectly ordinary men in perfectly ordinary relationships and marriages with women are into this stuff. They are getting off on this stuff and some of them will be encouraged to go further by this pornography. Um, now, the, the, the appeal of men with two kinds of sexual appendages is described thus on the House of Sissify website. She males exist in the best of both worlds, feminine as can be, 
yet packing a present for their lovers that is unmatched by standard genders. That's, that's a penis. Right? That's a penis. <laughs> Typically, the action includes the staples of contemporary porn, there's large penises, there's a focus on anal sex, as in this example, director Jason's signature style, extreme anal perversions presented with an inviting sense of playful delight. Um, is the perfect view into the sensuous world of hot tea girls. TS Playground 20 delivers hardcore fun with these gorgeous ultra feminine she males and their big, juicy, fully functional cocks. Now, of course, the vast majority of men who are transgender now keep those penises because they want gorgeous, big, juicy, fully functional cocks in order to have sexual excitement may be continuing. Um, now, transgender activists use terms to refer to their penises, which suggest they can be an ordinary part of women's anatomy, such as lady sticks. The penises in the pornography are described as female, using terms such as she cock and she cum for ejaculate. They also, of course, have tight butt holes and big round boobs. Now, the actors uh, uh, do look uh, double anal, anal daisy chains, and so on. So that's the uh, video pornography. A lot of it is under the title footer, which means fucked in the arse. Um, now, I think the pornography does, as I say, have a wide audience. It's not just the men who would consider themselves transvestites or consider themselves transgender. Um, now, a genre of this pornography is what um, Jackie was talking about, which is feminization or forced feminization, which underlies strong petitization, bimbification, etc., 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 citification. It is a subgenre of BDSM, and if we look at the titles of some of the video pornography on um, this topic, there's three mistresses and two slaves feminization, kinky sissy gets feminization and ass fucked by a strap on armed gal, I want someone to treat me like a total sissy slut. Guy gets sissification treatment. Stuff your balls in these tiny lace panties. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> I think one of the things that, 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 that transgender activists really want us to do is not laugh. Because laughter is really dangerous. It undermines the seriousness of what's going on. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, yes. I will not choose you. No, that's fine. Okay, I will go on simply because otherwise we'll never get anywhere. I'll leave that stuff behind for the moment. Okay, what I want to go on to then is the, the literature. Um, I don't want to show you the actual photographs I've got of video pornography. I'll go on to the literature. Um, there's a massive amount of literature, you know, 100 best transgender porn titles on Amazon, masses and masses and masses, usually written with stripper type names, Mindy and so on. So you know it's, it's men writing it, but they pretend to be women writing it. Um, there is a website called Fiction Mania which contains 27,000 amateur stories written by men who do their own feminization stories because they're sexually excited by writing those stories and other men read the 27,000 stories and so on. But this is proper literature, it's proper books which are sold on Amazon. Um, this, actually, this first one, which is the vivification of a woman, um, it shows you actually what's happening before it happens to men, this is what's done to women. Uh, this is an angry feminist, and they're never going to be the same. Dimboization, nanobots, male patriarchy, female submission, and very, very graphic sex. It's quite interesting because there's a lot of politics in there. <laughs> in this particular um, book of pornography. Uh, this is a forced feminization of men. It's the new girl, uh, which is a forced feminization novel. You notice the very strange angle here. Um, and it's, of course, women in the pictures. It's not men in the pictures because they wouldn't look quite right if they're. 66 years old, or whatever. So this is this woman in the pictures, and she is reduced to filing. You know, she's doing filing in an old-fashioned filing cabin, in a very strange position in high heels. Now this is her description. Uh, the description is a man who has become the director, got into financial difficulties, decided to put uh, uh, to answer this um, ad, which they're ready to assume the position. You saw the position just now. It's down there by the back. Submit your resume. Today. Now this is the feminization factory, it's Mindy Smith here, the day at the feminization factory, two transgender transformation tales, um, and this is uh, Myra and Amanda, two alluring sadistic ladies who use weird science to change hungry men into women and girls. There's a lot of stuff about the science and the drugs you can use to feminize, 
Uh, for instance, there's bimbasic, which will turn you into a woman, and strumpetization serum, and so on. So that's why we have the, 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 um, the syringe on the picture. You know, there's drugs that will do this. Um, and this is gender swaps, and there's, as I say, the gender swaps are going match your patients. This is alien, so this is uh, swapped in space by Victoria. This is just, this is Mindy Flith again, who is very prolific. 
he stuck as a schoolgirl a novel of transgender sugar and spice. Uh, Joe's about to learn that life as a little girl isn't all sugar, spice, and everything nice because, of course, terrible sexual things are going to be done in the pornography to Joe once he's been made into a girl. Uh, sometimes it's into babies because there's age regression to babies as well. There's age regression to absolutely any age you like. Some of it might be teenage, some of it might be babies and so on. Those of you who look for this stuff on the web will be aware of Stephanie, um, who imitates, I think, a five-year-old girl, doesn't he? Something like that. Anyway, this is where he gets it from, age regression. So it's either status reduction or age regression, which also reduces status. So it's all about, it's not just good enough to be have status reduction to be a woman, but you have to be age reduced or a, a pregnant woman or something. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> I think, uh, really, all I wanted to say at the end is there are quite a lot of men starting to actually say on blogs who have uh, transitioned or detransitioned or whatever that is about sexuality, they're admitting this now, it's fairly straightforward. If you want to look for some of them, there is Third Way Trans, there's Ozzy Mandias, Angus Greaves Smith, and so on. They all say that it is about sexual excitement, they explain what sexual excitement is, and what's fascinating about them is that Angus Green Smith, for instance, says that there's a ratchet mechanism. Men watch a lot of this pornography, they get more and more into it, they want to get more and more extremely involved, and of course the end point would be, I suggest, transgenderism, appearing in women's toilets supposedly as a woman, having this extraordinary effect upon women, and so on. So the, the cause of transgenderism, I suggest, is not a mysterious essence that dropped from the skies with the stalk, but it is a, mainly a sexual interest which is being constructed now by the pornography, by greater social acceptance, so we get much more demand for services as more and more men wish to transgender. Thank you.